Nous avons investi dans cette imprimante 3D. We invested in this 3D printer to save time in the production of our molds. This time saving allows us to stay competitive with other companies. You can see behind me the creation of a car roof mold using a 3D printer. This method is much faster than that used today. Take a look at the shots of the current method. Today, the different mold construction phases are as follows. Receipt of client files that are processed with CAD. Programming for our CNC machines. Bonding phase on a fabricated frame or softwood sole plate. A machinable board, polyurethane foam or polystyrene. Once these phases are complete, it's over to the machining element. We've just removed the material to obtain the final shape of the mold. Today, construction of a mold takes about three weeks. The 3D printer will enable us to reduce the time it takes to make a tool to about two weeks. The entire project is carried out using the Compositique platform. This allows for a full range. Formulators with the Cap West company, the people who make the consumables with the Nanovia company and people whose job is prototyping with the SMM Technologies company. We also have people working on the automation of the implementation of composite materials with the Coriolis company. So here we have a complete chain. The chain is used to define a specification that is monitored from the start through to completion of the final part. The starting materials are plastics and additives in powder form. After the formulation, we mix them. Next, we melt them down and we break them up into a plastic matrix in the form of rods. These rods are then cut up into granules. These granules are then injected into this machine. They are then extruded in the form of filaments, which will be used for the 3D printer. Nous développons une nouvelle activité sous le nom de Nanovia, qui elle va préparer plus des charges pour introduire. Nanovia will prepare loads to introduce special functionalities to thermoplastics. These functionalities give the materials special properties. Right now, it's the biggest 3D printer in the world. It has a working volume of over one meter cubed. This printer is intended to make the mold onto which we'll be able to lay composite material. Thanks to these very high performance materials, we'll be able to create parts intended for the automotive and aeronautic industry, as well as renewable energies. The development of these parts will then be a lot faster than at present. The aim is to create a mold very quickly using 3D printing and lay it up on the mold the same day with the robot. This is the initial combination of technologies. Other combinations may be envisaged. For example, manufacturing a part using partial fibre placement and partial 3D printing. It certainly bodes well for a fine project in the years to come. This group of manufacturers has been encouraged and supported by the local region, the county council and the town. It favours exchange through the Compositique platform and funding. Thanks to this new additive manufacturing method and groups of businesses within the Compositique platform, we believe that we are a genuine turning point for innovation. The creation of the car roof that we can see in this video will require just five days production compared with the current three weeks.